my friends, this is Darren from RC Scale Models. Today we have another kit for you. This one is a diorama kit. Um, I'm never going to build a ship or boat. I wouldn't actually say, actually, I tell you, I would never build a a, a, a ship because um, they're quite fiddly and there's a lot of work. I'll build a boat of some kind, but I would never, as I say, never build a ship. Um, so I've gone through this piece which is so like i say is a diorama but i will build segments of ships because i've got a couple of models that i've done reviews on in the past which are like guns and stuff um but so this is a flight deck from the uss nimitz uh in 148 scale it's quite a large diorama it's the uh, catapult section um and you do get the crew as well um i didn't realize you did and the manufacturer, if I get this wrong, I do apologise. I think it's Shank Models Workshop, I think is, is the kit manufacturer. Um, the length is 600 millimetres, the width is 360 millimetres, and it's 48, 48, uh, 45 parts plus. And the decals are done by Cardograph. So you know the decals are going to be good and they're going to be. There's going to be no issue. Um, the plane they put on the front is black tail. Reason being is so you can basically put any aircraft carrier plane that goes on there. Tornado, F F eighteen Hornet. No, sorry, not tornado. Tomcat, Hornet. Um, not sure what that plane is. What that's called. There's another plane that's got propellers and it's got like a radar thing on it you can put that on the aircraft carrier uh the f-35 lightning that's been modified now to uh go on the on the aircraft carrier on the nimitz the nimitz is quite an old ship but it's slowly been upgraded to take the different aircraft over the years um i will try and find a um it's like a little truck that can move vehicles around on the deck and might get one of those for this there's what the uh, potential uh, diorama can look like you see it's got the uh, catapult which is done by steam the crew members the uh, shield for the exhaust system so people don't get blasted by the uh, flames you've got that aircraft which is on the front box which is some kind of bomber I'm not actually 100% sure what that aircraft is I'll have to look it up you've got a uh, hornet on there um, so let's, let's take a look what we get inside the box. If you are interested to know what the kit number is, I believe it's 48020. There's nothing on this side, nothing on that side. So it's your typical op open box. You get a lot of parts. You get your worksheet and it's completely stuffed with styrene so we're going to take a closer look at this so here's your worksheet uh, you do have you've got your decals on the inside so we'll take a look at those at the end little bit of uh, information, warning symbols, you have all your parts that come in the kit, so it would be the base of the uh, aircraft carrier and then the um, piece that goes at the back and photo etch for the uh, launch piece. Um, Your first step is the um, this piece here. I don't know what you call it, but it's the bit that protects the crew members. It's the um, ramp, or um, not ramp, but the uh, shield. Um, so you'd be working on the hydraulic section, and then you put in the pistons and rods and stuff. And then you've got the shield itself. And then you've got some hatches. Part of the flight deck, 
open or closed. Um, I imagine they'll be closed when the aircraft's going to take off anyway. You have your photo etch um, ski launcher, not ski launcher, but the um, the catapult. I really don't know the, the uh, names for parts of the aircraft on the aircraft carrier. I should have done the research. Uh, so there's your catapult. And then you've got the back part of the aircraft deck and your shield. Then those four sections going together and your shield. And then that's basically what your diorama base looks like in your aircraft will sit here and crew members all around. And then it's your decals and painting option. So they're asking for the actual deck itself to be uh, tire black. The actual shield they're asking for like a uh, engine grey colour don't know what that is and then the yellow parts but I can't work out where they where they are but this um, shield section uh, which I don't mention is actually all this here is like a white or grey colour um, another thing, you get crew members in the kit, but it doesn't tell you the, what colours, what members are what. So you're going to have to do your research. Like some are blue, some are red, some are white, some are green, some are brown. Um, so you, for different things, so you're going to have to uh, do your research. Make sure you do the right colours for the right members. Because, no, my luck, if I don't, I'll end up screwing it up completely. Here's the uh, decals for the uh, markings on the uh, flight deck. Um, these ones here I will use, but these white ones are probably masking, masking them. Oh, sorry, mask them up and spray them. I find that might be a better option. So no typical order. We're going to go through the screws now. So here's one of the uh, sections of flight deck. It has got like a texture over it to mimic probably like not tarmac but the uh, the grip surfaces of the uh, flight deck. So that's one large piece. There's another piece here and then pieces around the back. So it's it's, it's going to be a large large door armor. Some more flight deck. I do want to build some dioramas, but I don't know how to go about making some of them, so I've gone for an easy option. So here's part of the flight deck, and here's where your photo etch. Um, catapult goes your steam catapult and you've got another segment here um, I'm gonna have to work it out I'm not sure where, what pieces go where So here's another large section of flight deck. All these segments is to uh, tie down with um, chains and stuff the aircraft. Oh, 
in here you have two long segments of uh, flight deck um, I don't know how well you're gonna go together and I'm a bit worried about having the seam line down the flight deck I don't know got these cutout sections as well for the um, parts to slot into to give it a nice tight fit so, um, it's going to butt it up as tight as possible and you're going to want to get this uh, flush and try and get it seamless Here's another segment of flight deck and this is the shield section that goes at the back. So imagine if you made a whole tire ship in one for you, it's gonna be massive. Here's another flight deck segment, triangle piece. Number 10. And this one here is where the uh, shield goes. I don't know if you can make it workable. We'll figure that out when, it come, when I come to build it. Which should probably be quite soon actually. And this is number 9. Here's your nice photo etch part of the um, catapult section. Um, I don't want to take this out because you can pretty much see it and I want, you need to keep it flat. And these segments here make up the catapult bit, I imagine. But this is not your typical photo etch, this is really thick. So here we have two more segments of flight deck and hatches. Um, covering to weathering on this, I don't think there's going to be much weathering, it's going to be quite clean. It's a uh, aircraft carrier is kept in top condition. It's a nuclear aircraft carrier. I watched a video on it and the yeah, fuel is obviously nu nuclear powered. They don't have to uh, basically like charge it up kind of thing or whatever for like 25 years or something. So it can stay out in the ocean for 25 years straight. Obviously they, they have other boats coming towards it to uh, give it... Um, food and taking off the trash and everything else but technically it can stay out in the ocean for 25 years so these triangle, triangle segments detail on your hatches again it's got this cast texture I think because the hatches are probably made out of cast metal and um, again it's got that texture of the top of the flight deck so it all blends in nicely it's quite thick plastic So in here we have our ramp, sorry not the ramp, the shield, why do I keep saying ramp?
So are these all the same? same? Yep, so there's three of these. So you have all your mechanism, hydraulic arms and um, stuff for the uh, shield. Locking pieces, structural parts, and then you have these pieces go at the bottom and the, the uh, rams and the uh, mechanisms all slots into there. And then this is the back of the shield. Again, it's nicely moulded, no jetcher pins anywhere on there, so it's all nice and clean. Because you find probably some manufacturers, they would have put jetcher pins in these and it's annoying and you have to have to try and clean them up. But again, all nicely done. It's got that texture, like the flight deck, so it all blends in. Because this would be flat when the aircraft come into land and it would be raised for when the um, aircraft probably take off. So there's three of these. And they have this segment of uh, crew members. Which, again, it doesn't tell you in the kit that you, they're there. And it doesn't tell you what painting to do. In there. So you, you have to do references. Because, again, I'm not going to try and say what crew member does what. But you've got this guy here, he's got his arms up in the air, like a uh, wire shape, so I don't know what hit signal he's calling out for. You've got this guy here, down the bottom. Looks like his arms are curved and hand straight up, so again, I don't know what that signal's for. This guy here, kneeling down, pointing out, so that's probably saying ready to uh, take off this guy probably stands at the front with his arms out stop don't go anywhere probably i don't know anyone that works on the aircraft carrier or knows what crew member does what i'd like to uh like to know and you've got other crew members down the bottom there's the segments and they just looks like they're just standing around i don't think they've actually actually doing anything the uh, this one here with if he goes to, see because there's no instructions I'm not sure if these parts go with these parts if you know what I mean um I'm hoping they do this one here has got he's got no helmet on or anything so he can't be quite close on the flight deck because he's got papers in his hands he's definitely not a pilot So I don't know. This one here, he's got his hands probably they're going to be down by his arms. So I don't think he's going to be doing anything. Um, this one might have his arms forward or up. Like the same again with this one. This one's got his arms. Looks like they're going to be down or up. It's nice that they come in. These segments come in separate parts because I know you, it's easier to paint. Because I like the uniforms, I like, say this guy's red for instance, and his pants are like, are done in blue I think, or like a khaki colour, or black. Like you see on the box, so you've got this guy at the front point in, he's in yellow, this guy's yellow, this one's a blue one, he's a yellow. As I say, there's other members that are in different colours. So you got this guy, he's not on the front box, but this guy here. He's got blue uh, top, but he's got a uh, waistcoat is is um, green. See here, if you see, there's a little um, little uh, towing vehicle. I might buy one of those as well to go on, on the flight deck. So, um, I'm gonna say. Here's the crew members. Okay, I've gone ahead and dry fitted the parts for the flight deck and this is roughly how big it's going to be. It takes pretty much the whole of my bench. It's a large piece. So, okay folks, there you go. There's another kit. 
review uh, from Shank Models Workshop, USS Nimitz Flight Deck. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.